I'm Ariel Powers, and I'm here with Team Liquid and Alienware's Legacy, part of the Good and Gaming Initiative. The mission? Equipping today's youth with the tools to succeed as tomorrow's esports champions. Yet, the skills are not sports centric, they are STEM specific. In Legacy, we celebrate those who create the technology that powers what we do. So, we search for deserving groups who are helping students level up. And today, Team Liquid and Alienware are visiting the African American Youth Harvest in Austin, Texas. African American Youth Harvest Foundation is a nonprofit organization that empowers, educates, and motivates African American youth to get them on the pathway to self sufficiency. The Harvest Foundation is called the Harvest because we are really planting and growing someone into something great. The Harvest Foundation offers mentoring mental health support. We offer STEM, college and career readiness, as well as placing students in internship positions. Within our technology program, we have code adventures, we have sugar coders, and our tech whiz is really a co-ed program. We are constantly pivoting in what we do, but the goal of the Harvest Foundation today is to reach every young child out there and give them the opportunity of a lifetime. Hi! Hello, how are you? I'm good, I'm Ariel Power. I'm Elaine Lofton with the African American Youth Harvest Foundation. Nice, nice to have you. I know, nice to finally meet you. It's beautiful in here. Well, thank you. So, I know a lot about AAYH, but I want to know more from you about what you've been doing and what this organization is all about. We serve two to 3,000 students a year where we provide services to all the youth in our uh -huh. little socioeconomic community. That's amazing. You guys are doing great things. How have you been helping the kids through this crazy time? The <laughs> pandemic hit the community really hard. Not only did families have to worry about the illness with the viruses, right. they had to worry about do I have the resources, the food in the house in order to ensure that my family was going to be able to survive. When kids had to virtually study at home, it affected us. Yeah. We're used to them being here in person and now they can't mm -hmm. because we've been shut down by the pandemic. Mm -hmm. That is devastating and I'm happy you guys were there for the children. Bless you. What was the first order of business after you learned all of that? As a team, we just kept trying to pivot every time to address those needs. We had our case managers calling the families. We had drive-throughs where we delivered tablets with external cameras as well. We kept our operation going as much as we could. Mm -hmm. So while everything else was on pause, you guys were working. How hard was that for you? It yeah. was very hard because at the same time, as an organization, we had to look at what do we have in place to be able to service our community because we thought we can't cl close our doors. So you saw a problem and you solved it. No matter what, you were like, I need to do this for the kids to be successful. Yes. What was the lessons that you learned or AAYH learned after all of that? We realized that our future is online. Mm -hmm. And so one of the most important gifts that we can ever give any youth is the technology skills. So you're leveling up when it comes to STEM. Yes. I love that, <laughs> I love that. So I got a question. Have you thought about introducing gaming to some of these kids? Yes, I've been wanting to do gaming, mm -hmm. uh, but it's been tough mm -hmm. because every time we try, mm -hmm. uh, something else happens. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to take computers from our other STEM programs that we have. And that's very interesting because, as you know, I, I'm a gamer, I love gaming. I might be able to help you out do you mind if we take a look around? Okay. All right. <laughs> okay, so this is one of the rooms that we were talking about uh, doing for our STEM. Okay. But just not really quite sure what we're gonna do with it. I think I have a few ideas. This space is pretty large. It's really nice in here. How would you feel if I was to create a gaming lounge here for the students at AAYH. Are you serious? <laughs> yes. That would be amazing. The kids would love it. It's like a home away from home for them. All right, let's do it. Hey, she said yes. Come in, let's go.
Yes. Don't don't keep contorting the image away from the picture. When you see the picture, make the image look just like that. Okay. I am so excited to meet the kids. They're in there. They have no idea what's about to happen. Oh. Yeah, I've got that. Yeah, 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 there you go. Okay. Hey guys, guys, let me get your attention real quick. How many of you have heard of Team Liquid? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Great, great, great. Well, Team Liquid has heard a lot about what you guys are doing, and they're really excited about it. And they have brought a special guest for you guys because you're such fantastic students. So, here we go. Hey, guys. Hey. hey. What's up? I'm Ariel Powers. I stream for Team Liquid. I'm so excited to be here with you guys. Who likes games? Me. I do. You guys like gaming, right? Yeah. So, sure. TL has hooked you guys up with some pets because you guys are some gamers. I got a question. Okay. Anybody here like Apex? Yeah. yeah. Call of Duty? Yeah. 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 All right. That's awesome. That's awesome. I have been watching you guys, hearing about what you're doing, making sure you're educating yourself, especially during this time of COVID and pandemic. I know it's really, really hard, but you guys have stay focused and put your journey first. So I actually have a gift for you guys that I couldn't bring in like the hat, but I want you guys to come check it out. You guys want to follow me into the other room? Yeah. yeah. All right, let's do this. Come on, let's go. Good chair. stuff, man. Chair. It's, it's magnetic, it's bro. Mag <laughs> 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 this is crazy. This is crazy. Oh, crazy. Yo, <laughs> cool. this guys, this is so comfortable. Yeah. Oh, that is fire. Nice. You guys like the gaming setup? Yeah. yeah. The room is fire, right? right. Yes. Yeah. Alienware and Secret Lab did an amazing job to make sure you guys love this space. It's so many options when it comes to technology that you can make a career out of. So we want you guys to explore those options. But we're really, really proud of you guys. And I can't <laughs> wait to see what you guys do in the future. Today felt amazing. When you talk about STEM, what we're doing is huge because now they can explore those things. So it makes me emotional because I do relate to the kids at AAYH. You never know who in that room, life you change by just giving them opportunity. The kids that I met today really have to work hard to get to where they want to be. Already a young girl in there said it to me. She likes to see people of color in these spaces because representation matters. And when she said that, it kind of hit me in the heart because we're bridging the gap, all just because of the game room. What we did is going to last them a lifetime. Hey,